Hey folks, this is Paul with Live for Moto, and I'm coming to you with two really quick things. We're quick going to do a helmet review, and then I wanted to show you, which you'll see coming up next, I've got a new intro for 2019. Stay tuned. probably the same as me you go online and you look at YouTube and you look for products things that you're thinking about buying that you want to see what other people think of them are they good are they bad but man there's so many reviews out there and they get really long-winded so I am going to do a quick review for you of the shoe birth e1 adventure helmet and these are just my quick thoughts if you guys are looking for all the real technical stats then go here Go to the Shoe Birth website and it will give you everything that you want to know about this helmet. But if you're looking for actual rider opinion, well, I've been using this helmet for a little over a year now and I got to tell you, I love this thing. Let me give you a quick reason why. In my motorcycle riding years, I've used a lot of different kind of helmets. And most of the time I was using an Arai helmet. But I found that I had a kind of an odd head shape. And it always pinched me right here around the ears, giving me a bunch of sore spots after about seven or eight hours of riding. So on a whim, I went out and I tried a shoe berth. And what I knew about helmet was that I wanted modular, I wanted a peak, and I wanted comfort. I heard a lot of advertising about how quiet the shoe berth, shoe berth helmet was. And so I decided, Ugh, it's a lot of money, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it off and I'll try it. So try it, I did. Now a lot of you have probably seen pictures like this of me wearing a black helmet and you're saying, Paul, why are you holding a red and white one? No, I haven't changed bikes. This is actually a friend of mine's helmet. My helmet is still in Colorado with my bike and I haven't brought it up to where I work yet. So I'm using a helmet that is identical to the one that I wear to do this demonstration for you. Let me show you a couple things about the shoe berth. You see this little red lever right here? If you pop that thing down, this thing has, the peak has three positions that it can ride in. It'll go all the way up. There's a mid, a mid setting and a low setting. I tend to like riding with it on the low setting because it seems like I always find myself riding right head on into the sun, it's right in my eyes. When I ride with that in the low position, I tilt my head just a touch, it, it works better than a ball cap does for blocking out the sun. It's fantastic being able to reposition that in three different places. Just like any other helmet, you've got your regular screen on this thing that comes up. And, you know, you can use it for yelling back and forth to your buddies. If you're like my buddies and I, we all run a, uh, a comms unit on our helmets. So we can usually talk to each other pretty easy. Uh, but this is easy up, easy down. There's not any kind of real fancy locking snaps, but it seems to hold in place really well. And it does, for something that doesn't have a lock on it, it does a surprisingly good job at keeping the wind out. Now, if you want a little wind in, the ventilation in the front of this helmet is really actually, it's impressive how much air it will let through. Now that depends, of course, on what kind of a screen you're running on your motorbike. So if you've got wind being blocked off the front of your bike and it's going straight over your head, well, you're going to need to stand up to get a little airflow through this thing more than likely. Now here's one of the things that I really liked and what was a real big seller for me is that I knew I wanted a modular helmet, but I also knew that I wanted an adventure helmet with the peak on it. Well, Shoe Birth is one of, I think, only like two or three companies. I think there's Scorpion and maybe somebody else that are, is making an adventure style, style helmet with a peak. But I wanted a modular. And one of the things about the Shoe Birth is that it is a modular where the whole front end lifts up. Now, you can see the, the microphone for the comms unit that we run in these things. My helmet is identical, and you'll see it. You've seen it in the pictures in my previous videos. I run the same exact setup. And uh, it, the, the latch, the quality of the latch on this thing, it's all metal latches. So God forbid in the event that you were to have a, a, a wreck and you went down on that chin bar, it's going to give you virtually as much support as a, as a full chin bar on a regular helmet. This has got the strongest latching um, 
chin bar, I think, out there. I've looked at a couple of the others. HJC makes some modulars, some other modulars out there. And uh, compared to the quality of those other helmets, this one is really second to none. It, it's a fantastic, secure, solid locking um, system on the shoe berth. Let's talk ventilation here for just a second. There's air ducts that run in the front of this helmet. You've got adjustments for air here. You've got adjustments for air here. This panel right on the top of the helmet slides forwards and backwards. This allows airflow through the top of the helmet and does a surprisingly good job for a helmet with no obvious ports or vents in the back side of it. It actually lets quite a bit of air flow through the top of the helmet, which is great because you know how it is. You get out there on a hot day, top of your head gets sweaty and then it goes right down the back of your helmet around your neck and that's kind of where you need to be able to have that air pass all the way through your helmet. And it actually works pretty well. I had a lot of skepticism when I actually got the helmet in the mail. I looked at that and I thought, man, no way is that thing going to be able to pass enough air. I get plenty of airflow even on a GS with the windscreen that blows it over the top of my head. So I'm really satisfied with the way this thing ventilates. To top it all off, I'll give you an unboxing. Hey, look, that's all it looks like. It comes in a cardboard box and they give you a really nice padded bag. I don't mean it's just a helmet bag. Everybody gives you a helmet bag. This thing is like padded. You could throw your helmet in it and let it bounce around in the back of the truck and your helmet's going to be okay. So for those of you who like to keep a clean looking dome or a clean lid, they give you a good bag for doing just that. One last little feature that I really like about the shoe berth helmet, the clarity on it could use a little bit of work, but they have a built-in sun visor. And I know there are other helmets out there that have this, but they put the lever for it right here on the side. So if you're like me where you don't like wearing glasses or sunglasses under your helmet and you're riding through the shadows of the mountains, the trees block the sun and then you're in the sun and then you're in the shade and then you're out of the shade. Well, they make this handy dandy little drop down. I hope you can see that due to my lighting. They've got this drop down sun, basically built in sunglasses, sun visor that is right there ready for you in an instant. And I really kind of like that when you just need a quick, uh, dampening of the sunlight because you've ridden out of the shadows. Uh, it's so much easier than trying to wear sunglasses riding into a shadow and then riding out of the shadow. You can just operate this thing and it really is. It's that simple. Bam. In and out. It works great when you're riding through a canyon road and you're in and out of the shadows and the sunlight. So to sum it all up for you folks, I promised I'd keep it short. I absolutely love the shoe berth helmet. I've been wearing mine for a little bit over a year. When I got it, it was a little snug. I was even a little worried that maybe it was too snug. After It took about a month for the materials to break in a little bit there. And I found after that broke in a little bit, that thing just, it fits like a glove. It fits like a helmet ought to fit. It is incredible. All day comfort, sound dampening that is off the charts, good ventilation, it is an awesome helmet. If you're looking around for a good helmet and you're considering a shoe berth E1, I highly recommend it. Folks, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. This is the first video of 2019. We've got some rides coming as the, th as the snow is starting to thaw.